Hi, welcome to HLS Show Me How, podcasting with Office 365. I am your host, Michael Gennady, and I'm a Principal Technology Specialist with Microsoft's Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. So today's little uh, show me how really comes from a couple of meetings I've had, as well as some requests that have come through email and through Microsoft Teams. And that is how to deliver audio podcasts to users within their organization. You know, lots of folks absolutely love, and I know I do, Microsoft Stream and its ability to deliver video. And certainly one option that we're not going to cover today, but one option is to simply create a video with a placeholder. For example, you see here a slide on my uh, desktop here that we're recording as a part of this, right? I don't have to have, uh, you know, the video portion in here. I can simply have the audio play with a placeholder. And then, of course, they can synchronize them using things like the mobile client here on the phone, right? So that, that's all available. But folks are saying, no, what we're really looking for is a traditional podcast. We want to upload MP3 files. We want to be able to then have users automatically get the latest and be able to play them, listen to them, whatever. How can we do that? So that's what we're going to show you today. And luckily, we're not showing you anything new under the sun. If you have folks in your organization who are familiar with Microsoft SharePoint Online, um, and going way back to the days, way long time ago, with Microsoft SharePoint, we can quickly and easily implement that, and that's what I'm going to show you. So with that, let's go ahead and head on over to our next slide. All right, so I'm keeping the window a little smaller than usual today because I'm using my internal production systems to be able to show you and highlight kind of what we're going to take a look at here. But here you can see I'm on a SharePoint site. And if you notice, I have a thing here that says R&D Podcasts. And in fact, we do have podcasts. Now, the way that we can quickly and easily enable podcasting within SharePoint is as follows. First of all, if we go to our site contents, we'll select over there. You do have the option to create new. And what I did was create a document library. And that library... Here it is, right? Just like documents, there's my, I named it in this case, R&D Podcast, but notice the type is a library. So nothing earth shattering there. Just create a document library, call it what you want. Now, if we click into our library, you'll notice a couple of things that I've done with this library. Number one, we can see here, there's a little music icon. It's uh, pulling that. We see the MP3s that have been uploaded. I have a description and created a date you know, when it was created and created by, all I did to do this was when in here, we go into our library settings and to start to work with this, we're going to do a couple of things. Number one, we are going to come over here and create, make sure the columns are what we want to display, right? So I have the title was already there. I then added a description column by simply selecting create column. Go ahead and select that, boom. Then I selected multi lines of text, gave it a name and saved it, right? It's gonna now give some pieces. I said mandate, require that we have information there. We're gonna cancel out because we already have that. And let's get out of here, go on back. Do, 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 there we go. So I created the columns that I wanted to display then I went into the All Documents view. Now, you could certainly create a new view if you wanted. I just simply then said, look, I selected out of the available, I, you know, the available attributes here. I simply selected the ones I want and reordered them. So for the first one, I made it be the type one, which displays the icon link to a document. So if this was a library with Word docs and PDFs, etc., you'd get those icons. But the library recognizes MP3 as a file type and gives it that little kind of musical note piece, right, to indicate it's an audio file. Then the name was already there. I simply made that number two. I made description number three. Created, I selected, which was not selected. And I made that number four and then created by number five, which then the last piece I did was 
for the sort I changed it it was by in this case it was actually I think by the name um, but I went ahead and I selected created and <clears throat> show in ascending order right we can do that we can do descending order however we'd like to do those sorts of course you could you know do some further edits here so but I went in we edited that particular view which gave us the one we saw the last piece is this RSS settings RSS has been around forever and RSS is a protocol that allows us to dynamically serve up content to various um, RSS readers uh, we can leverage that for podcast uh, content you know and things that we want to do but all we did <coughs> excuse me um, all I did here was allow RSS for this list yes then we have here the name that we want the description you can change those it has a default image uh, that, that's here and you again you can change that these two I needed to change under document options include file enclosures for item in the feed I selected yes link RSS items directly to their file I selected yes from that and then I selected title description and created so that those would appear um, again there's other ones I could have done modified modified by instead uh, but that's the ones that I chose to go ahead and display then I selected you know how long how many items do you want to include and how long do you want them to show right once I did that if we click out of here the last piece is this back here in that all documents there is a link if we scroll on over that shows for the RSS feed of this given library right so with that I then simply right clicked said copy link and we're going to come on back to the home page I then added the links part right so let's go ahead and take a look what that looks like so there we go I named it podcast feeds um, I also if we select this right uh, went in here and I said you know for let's go ahead we'll click edit so here I said show descriptions show icons yes so I wanted that so it would show those icons and scroll on back um, let's go ahead and for this particular one let's republish so that then we can see what it looks like we go in here there we go and for those feeds for this one to get that piece oh and I forgot I need to click at it I'm sorry I'm skipping back and forth um, so we're gonna come on back here and what we want to do now is go ahead and for this one we're going to click add a link right and so I said from link and then I gave it a link here um, there we go I'm gonna say open it then is going to give me this view where I can then change the name and I'll say R&D podcast 2 there we go and it says thumbnail auto selected I selected icon I click change and if you scroll down through here there's a number of them here's a megaphone I chose the microphone icon um, you'll find that if you go down through here there's telephone there's all kinds of ones you can make them be any of these selected ones you can even upload your own custom ones if you so desire but again I chose you know something uh, simple there we go there's the microphone so boom select and once we're done click that I can then republish the page and here we go there's my podcast feeds now what those look like when we look at a podcast feed it's going to give us a link that we can either right click and copy and do something with or I actually have um, those available so let's go there we go oh I clicked on it already so here's what an RSS feed looks like and this is it you know it's not the, the prettiest view but you can see here I have table of contents there's podcast one if I click it 
starts playing, right? Go back. Um, I can see read the full item, go to it. But it has here the description that those, those pieces of information I selected. But it also has simply subscribe to this RSS feed. This is a link. And when I do subscribe to that, I'm going to minimize some. The automatic client it invoked was Outlook. Outlook becomes, here it says we have RSS feeds. Notice there are my views. So if I want, I can go ahead and say, you know, look, I want to click in here. Right? So we can do that. Um, we have the different ones all synchronizing. But I would propose to you, let's do something a little different. You certainly could use a podcast piece of software. The one stipulation is going to be this. For that podcast to be rendered for your users, you would either have to make that library shareable with anonymous access, which I don't think your IT is going to want you to do, or you need a podcast reader that would respect your login information. So you have to give it your user ID and password, right? So it can authenticate. But you could choose either one, but I would submit there's an even better way to do it. I don't know, it's called Microsoft Teams. So I made a team here based upon that site, right? So I have a site where I can create multiple podcast libraries. I can create those at will and, and uh, add them here. And then what I can do is right within my Teams site itself, I can simply come in. Let's go ahead and say we want a SharePoint library. Right away under relevant sites, there's that site that we're going to go to. We're going to grab next. I don't want to post to the channel. There's my podcast library next. And we'll call this R&D Podcast. I could do this in different channels. We could do it however we'd like, but I'm just going to add it at the top for the default and there we go so there's my podcast I can come in and say hey let's go ahead and listen -da -da. there you go and that's it um it the play button is actually off the screen so you don't see it so I'll go ahead and move that so you can see it's playing there we go so we have now our audio being brought right within Microsoft Teams so think about it you could create a centralized team an all company team for podcasts for those audio ones that people want to produce you simply upload them whatever they are into a SharePoint library you don't even have to bother with the RSS if you want in our case we just simply went to the library view grabbed it in a teams and bam just like that we have podcasts being pulled right into here it's a beautiful thing it just works it makes again that single place to get my work done is Teams, and now I can even get various podcasts from executives and others here in our organization without going anywhere else. So that's it. I mean, it's easy. Podcasting is easy. I mean, we can certainly, again, do old school with sync, and you can do it to a client. You could, for example, again, if you wanted to um, make it an anonymous access library, stand that up, you know. Uh, and make that available to any podcast reader. I don't necessarily recommend that, you know, depending on what's out there. You don't want that necessarily getting out in the wild, but you could if you wanted. Um, or you could find a client that would respect your authentication um, and, and leverage it. Otherwise, it won't work. You could use Outlook natively, like we saw, just by clicking the link to the RSS feed. Or what I recommend, if, you, if the goal for your podcast is, is really to serve them up to people bring the audio where people work don't make it confusing make it so hey i'm in teams it's where i get my work done just there it is there's the podcast and you could create a centralized one you could reuse those then in individual teams that may have uh, an interest in a particular podcast feed being done maybe it's a particular it one an r d one easy simple pull it into teams just set up the library like i showed you don't even worry about the rss set up the library pull the library in as a view people can just click and listen it's all going to be handled right here and again if you're doing that gee i don't know it's mobile enabled out of the box right so there we go so that's my my thoughts on 
podcasting. If you have other questions, I get lots of them. Feel free to find me. You can find me on LinkedIn.com. Uh, you can find me in many places, but always, if you look at the link, I guess it's over there, if I can get that right, um, aka.ms slash aka. Been a long morning. It's aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. With that, this is Mike Giannotti bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.